Alright YouTube, as though we weren't used to the fruity ways of the far right wing, um, this one probably takes the cake as the most stupid law that I've ever seen introduced. Now this is, this is above Rick Santorum levels of stupidity. I can understand the right wingers who are just, they're honest about why they want to ban abortion because they think it's a terrible sin against, you know, Jeebus or, you know, whatever other skeleton they worship. Um, at least they're honest about their reasons for it. They don't mince words and try to go around people's backs. But this, <laughs> this lawmaker, um, it's Catherine Brown, a Republican, of course, from New Mexico. Uh, thankfully, New Mexico is run right now by Democrats, so the bill won't pass. Uh, she introduced a bill to make it a third-degree felony of tampering with evidence to abort a child after being raped. The stupidity of this is absolutely profound. I mean, this essentially criminalizes being raped um, and then going forth and exercising your right not to have to carry the child to term. Essentially, it's backdoor abortion banning, essentially, because rape is one of the major reasons why someone would have an abortion. Of course, rape remains underreported significantly. Um, anyone who is reasonable understands this is the case. The right-wingers who say, oh, only a fraction of abortions are performed for rape victims, are they're wrong. Um, they simply don't report uh, rape that often because there is still that social stigma attached to rape because of a bunch of goofy right-wing fundamentalists in this country. But this bill is is ludicrous. Uh, you can't even get any more dishonest than to claim that you're protecting women's interests by making it a felony to abort uh, uh, fetus as the result of rape. It just doesn't make sense. And this vein of fundamentalist dishonesty is what we've seen for a great deal of time now, not just among the Republican Party. Uh, it has nothing to do, per se, with the actual party involved. It has to do with individuals who are fundamentalists, who believe literally in the Bible as the Word of God and all that good shit, who think that it's, uh, you know, God's calling for them to ban abortions and ban gay marriage and stand against this terrible tidal wave of, uh, you know, these terrible homosexuals and atheists and and women who want to exercise their rights. They essentially, and this is weird, because this bill's coming from a woman. Now she's an elderly woman. She's obviously no longer capable of giving birth. Um, she, her menses have stopped by this point. Um, what if her, you know, I'm assuming that her children also would be past that <laughs> age barrier. What if her, uh, her grandchildren, what if one of her, you know, granddaughters was raped? She's a congressperson. She's got a good income. She's like, she's buddy-buddy with all the rich people, I'm sure, in her community, and she gives the lavish parties and has the limousine, or at least the armored SUV, and her children probably go to a nice private school, and she's got the nice tailored garden and the Victorian house, or, you know, some comp, maybe she's a total nutter and has a compound out in the desert with concrete walls, and she has the best life insurance policy money can buy and the free health care because she's a politician. And she has everything going for her. She has all the money she could ever need, uh, like all the politicians do. Not just the Republicans, all the politicians do. They're wealthy individuals. Do you honestly think if that happened she wouldn't pay for her grandchild to have an abortion if they were raped? Yeah, she would. Um, they all would. That's infamously why Herman Cain kept dodging the question when asked if one of his children was raped, if he would support them having an abortion, and he danced around it completely. And that was one of the things that unseated his presidential campaign, other than the fact that he likes to apparently rape women also, um, or at least uh, be sexually promiscuous in an unwelcome manner with them, or however he would term it. Um, these individuals are hypocrites. They say they're working for the word of God. Well, it's absolute, and thou shalt not kill those terrible, you know, those uh, rape victims' fetuses. Uh, you can't kill them. You can kill criminals, that's okay, and you can kill people in other countries, but you can't kill the fetus. And my cat's caught here, so just a second. Yes, kitty. 
Um, but anyway, they're hypocrites because they would support such behavior for themselves. I'm sure that enormous numbers of these Bible-toting idiots that are elected to Congress and these Bible-thumping preachers and these infestational worms, these parasitic creatures that we call fundamentalists because they're all a bunch of slugs and snails and slaves and weak-minded, easily-led sheep, um, if their child was raped, they'd get, get them an abortion. They'd hush it up and say, don't talk about this. The whole town will hate us. We'll, be dr we'll have to move north to one of those hippie states. That's the secret. These people are so rich and out of touch, they honestly think they're doing God's will by being complete hypocrites. They fooled themselves. And this bill that criminalizes being raped, essentially, is just another notch on the belt of absolute stupidity. Rick Santorum couldn't have built a bill that was more dishonest and more filled with crap than this one, uh, or he would have had a difficult time doing it. And these people are just completely out of touch. I don't know whether they've got some sort of collective insanity or whether they're so old they're, they're getting Alzheimer's. I mean, anyone who's seen John McCain stumble out a sentence, uh, you know, stammering along and waddling down the street knows that he's off his rocker. Um, these people have some sort of, and I hate, I have to put it literally here, they've got some sort of mental disorder. Um, we should look into treating these individuals for the obvious mental uh, disdain that they have for the poor and for gay people and for women who are raped. It's like a pathological thing to them. And you see this occasionally in the Democratic Party. Uh, with them, it's more a pathological hate for guns or something like that, or thinking that we need to save some, you know, tree slug in the Amazon from extinction uh, just because it exists on one tree or something. But the Republican Party has, and uh, Fox News had it sort of backwards on their once. They said that people's perception was that the Republicans were the dumb party and Democrats were the evil party. I think the Democrats are dumb on some issues, but I think the Republicans are both dumb and evil, making them the worst of the two evils, generally speaking. There are some individuals within the party that make sense, but they're the exception rather than the rule. And it's really sad that these people actually get into... I don't understand who would vote for somebody who dreams up such, such a convoluted bill. Who dreams up... She says, well, it's going to protect women by preventing sexual crimes, by making sure the evidence is there to jail the rapist. Um, hmm... How exactly are they going to determine this? They look at the baby and say, oh, it has the same color eyes as the person that they're blaming for rape. Well, I guess it must be theirs. Guess what? If you abort the fetus and you were to declare the aborted fetus as evidence, you could do a genetic test on the aborted fetus. Well, problem solved. The woman doesn't have to carry the child to term. You've still got the goddamn fetus to do genetic testing. She says, well, Joe Schmo raped me. Well, test the fetus and then test Joe Schmo. You don't need to carry the child to term and then, you know, take blood samples from the living baby who now, by the way, becomes a ward of the state, gets thrown in an orphanage and their whole life is ruined. No, you, you don't take away the right from the woman and put her through the pain and then put the child through the pain and say to the child, well, you've got a rapist, daddy. We don't want you in our church. Uh, you just abort the baby and test the fetus. Isn't that a little bit more simplistic? I mean, the other option is that women who are raped will simply go to the, abor uh, the abortionist and say, well, I guess the rapist is protected because guess what? They're going to get the goddamn abortion. They're going to do that because they're not going to go through, you know, raising a child or putting their child up for adoption because they got raped, which would derail their whole life. They're going to abort. Well, guess what? They're just not going to tell anybody that they were raped. Way to stigmatize it further as though rape victims don't have enough to worry about, well, guess what? <laughs> Their psychology is now out of balance. They probably have nightmares and all sorts of other problems. And they can't tell their family because they live in the Bible Belt somewhere where they honestly, they're like a bunch of fanatic Muslims and think it's the woman's fault. It's ridiculous. It's the pinnacle of stupidity. And it shows the sickness that's inherent in this Judeo-Christian fundamentalist ethos of pure, poisonous, illogical nonsense 
Uh, these people are living in the Stone Age. They're a Neanderthal, sub-Neanderthal remnant of the actual human race. It's almost like we're seeing evolutionary divergence right now. We're seeing these overly religious, zealous, bigoted idiots sort of devolving into an animal-like form, sort of a proto-human, while the rest of us actually advance and uh, make something of our lives. <laughs> It just boggles the mind that such a bill would be put forth, especially, you got to wonder truly what she was thinking when, hmm, by the way, the Democrats control the House and the Senate in New Mexico, and it can't possibly pass uh, the fact that New Mexico is an emerging blue state and that she probably won't get reelected as a result. I guess she was hoping that magically, and she may be old enough not to understand the Internet, so this may be the case, Maybe magically she thought that the internet wouldn't get a hold of it and this wouldn't go national, but yeah, it's all over right now. Uh, in the last few hours, I've seen dozens and dozens of reports of it all over the internet. So she's basically ruined her career. And good for the internet and good for individuals spreading it around for ruining her career for her. She needs to go into retirement, probably in a retirement home, uh, where she can get the help she needs for her 